hello everyone. I hope you're happy and great day. Um, it's Earth Day, so happy Earth Day. We're going to talk about a few things today that we can do to help keep our Earth clean, and then I'm going to read you guys a book. So what are some things we can do to help keep our Earth clean? Say we can reduce, reuse, and recycle. What are some things we can reduce? So we can reduce energy. So if you're not in a room and you're not using the lights or the TV, um, we can turn them off and that helps reduce the energy. What can we reuse? We can reuse clothes, plastic bags, uh, glass bottles, plastic bottles, newspaper. You can reuse those for arts and activities. Um, and then what can we recycle? What do we recycle at school? Paper. So we can recycle paper, cardboard, um, plastic, glass. If we drink out of these type of um, plastic bottles, it's important that we recycle these. That way they stay out of the streets and out of um, the water. And then stuff that we can't recycle, it's important that we throw in the trash. That way it doesn't get, like I said, in our streets or our water. Um, and we can keep that earth healthy and clean. So it's really important. Um, do you guys know how old the earth is? It's 4.5 billion years old, so that's really old. The Earth has been around for a long time. Um, and do you guys know how much water is on Earth? We have 71% water, so that's more water than there is land, so that's pretty cool. So what are the three really important things we can do again? Reduce, reuse, recycle. Good job. So now we're going to read a book called There Was an Old Woman Who Lived in a Shoe. So this is our front cover our back cover, we have our spine, and our title page. The author is Jane Cabrera, so the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. Okay, here we go. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, so this is what she looks like. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children and animals too. So there's her house. Their names were Bertha, Martha, Sky, and Bob, Eric, Edith, Esme, Pop, John, Jane, Jack, and Jill, Kai, Rosa, and Baby Bill. So we're gonna count how many children and animals she has. So we're gonna start with the children first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So she has ten children. Now let's see how many animals she has. One, two, three, four, five. So five animals. So ten kids and five animals. Do you guys know what ten plus five is? It's fifteen. So that's a lot of people that live in our house. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the children were hungry, she made them. What do you guys think she makes them when they're hungry? A stew with potatoes and coconut and carrots and peas, and she kissed them all lovingly when they said, more please. So they're using their manners and they're saying, more please. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe, and when the car broke down, they, so there's her car. So she drives a shoe too. Rhoda knew they all had tights sitting side by side and she kissed them all lovingly at the end of the ride. So there they all are. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and when the clothes got tattied, she, so some of the clothes have some holes in it and she's gonna fix them. Mend and make do, what fabulous clothes, such colorful cloth, and she kissed them all lovingly when they showed them off. So she fixed them and they look really nice now. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and when the furniture broke, she, so what do you think she does when the furniture breaks? Stick it with glue and hammered and nailed and screwed here and there and she kissed them all lovingly from her wobbly chair. So she likes to fix a lot of stuff when it breaks. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe and some days were just a big hubba So much noise, what a messy muddle, but all was made better by a big soft. So the kids are making a mess it looks like. 
cuddle and she's telling him that she loves him. And that's the end. So again, one more time, what are the three important things we can do for the earth? They reduce, reuse, and recycle. Good job, guys. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this book, and I can't wait to read you guys another one. I'll see you later. Bye.